Hi, today we're going to see how to add outlines in GIMP. You can use these methods here to add outlines to text or objects or persons. So first I'm going to create a new image, go to File, New. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. And now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to change the background layer here color. So I'm going to select this color here. So here's the HTML notation, press OK. And now I'm just going to drag the column like this. And now click on these two icons here to change the foreground and background colors to black and white. And now make sure, so I'm going to select the foreground color as white since I'm going to use the text tool, the white color. So left click here. So now I'm going to type my text so here. So the font type is lemon and the font size is 500. So here now select the alignment tool, left click here. So I'm going to align it horizontally and then vertically like this. And now for the first method here to add outlines here in GIMP. So first of all, you need to make selection of the text. So right click alpha to selection here. And now for this one, I'm going to increase this selection. So go to select, grow. And now I'm going to increase it by 10, 20 pixels, press OK. So here it is, as you can see, the selection is increased. And now I'm going to create a new transparent layer, click on this icon here, fill it with transparency and then press OK. Make sure to place this transparent layer under the text layer here. And now I'm just going to drag the color here. So here it is, I'm now going to select none to remove the selection. So here is the first method by increasing the selection. And now I'm going to remove this one here. So here it is. Now select the text tool again. For the second method, we're going to add borders to our text here by using the borders. So right click here on the text layer here, alpha to selection. We need to make selection of the text. Go to select and then border. And here I'm going to increase the border by 20 pixels here. Make add the border of 20 pixels. And you can choose the border style to smooth, hard, or feathered. I'm going to keep it to smooth. And then here, selected area continue outside the image. I'm going to uncheck it and then press OK. And now I'm going to create a new transparent layer just as before. So click on this icon here, fill it with transparency, and then press OK. And then make sure to place it under our text layer here, this one here. And now just drag the color you want. So here I'm going to drag the black color. So go to select none to remove selection. So here's our borders here. And here's our text, white text. I'm going to remove these squares here of the alignment tool, just select another tool. And now for the third method, I'm going to remove this one here again. Click on this icon here, the border. So select the text tool again. We need to make selection of the text again. Right click alpha to selection. And now we're going to stroke this selection here. So I'm going to create a new transparent layer. So here it is. Click on this icon here, fill to transparency, press OK. And here you can either place it on a new layer or just add it on the text here. So I'm going to new layer. And now as you can see here, selection is active. So go to edit, stroke selection. And here as you can see, you can choose between stroke line or stroke with the paint tool. With this one, with the stroke with the paint tool to reduce the settings of either the paintbrush or the other tools. So here are they. And now I'm going to select the stroke line here. So I'm going to make the line width 20 pixels. Check the anti-aliasing. You can still stroke the text here with the pattern. So I'm going to select the solid color to use the foreground color. So I need to switch between the foreground and background to make the background black, uh, the foreground black, sorry. And here you can also choose the line style here. For example, the cap style, John style. You can also choose the dash presets. So for example, line, long dashes, normal dots. I'm going to keep it with line here and then just click on stroke. So I'm going to hide the line style here. So here it is, stroke line, solid color, anti-aliasing, and then 20 pixels for the line width and then stroke. So here it is, go to select none to remove the selection. So here's our stroke here on this layer here. Here's our white text. And now I'm going to remove the stroke here, this one here. So click on this icon here, the X icon. So select the text tool, 
there is another method it's by using the paths here so we need to convert this text into a path so right click you must have a text layer here and not the simple layer so so for example if i convert it so right click on the text layer layer to image size so here as you can see we have this menu here text along path text to path discard text information so for example if i click on layer to image size if i right click here on the text here we don't have the text to path so you need a text layer for that so Control z to undo your action and now right click text to path so if i hide the white text here go to the paths tab and here i will click on the eye icon here so here's our path here you can go to edit then stroke path or for example if i hide it just double click it so as you can see we are on the move tool if i double click on the path here it will change automatically to the paths tool here and now i'm going to click on stroke path here so here the stroke menu here the stroke path menu is the same as the stroke selection so i'm going to keep it solid color anti-aliasing line with 20 and the foreground color is black and then just click on stroke so go back to the layers tab here and now as before you can either stroke the text layer or create new transparent layer so i'm going to create a new transparent layer fill it with transparency press ok and now place it under the white text here layer and then here make sure you're on the transparent layer and then click on stroke so here it is so select another tool here to remove the paths here so if i hide the white text so here it is here is our black stroke and now i'm going to remove it so here it is and now for our last method here select the text layer we're going to add drop shadow to it so go to filters light and shadow drop shadow so here you will need to increase the opacity all the way up and here on the x and y here make sure the chain icon here is linked so you just need to make the x and y to zero so double click and then type zero press enter so here it is it will be right under the text here and now for the grow radius you will need to increase it all the way up and the blur radius all the way down so i'm going to decrease the blur radius and for the grow radius i'm going to increase it all the way up so here as you can see it's too much so i'm going to decrease it so over here like this so if i if i go under here so you won't have an effect so you will need to increase it over zero so here so here it is and now just press ok so here it is so now i'm just going to merge down these two layers so here so here it is that's how you can add outlines in gimp thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time